right, girls. Well, we rehearsed. To the left, to the left. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box. To the left, in the closet. That's my stuff. Yes, if I bought it, say, don't that. Girl, we sound mad good. What's good, us popping everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alam Gulelona, and thank you so much for tuning into yet another episode of Everything Lelona, where we talk about everything, girl. Yeah? and anything cheer yeah. now if you are new here welcome baby i really hope that you'll enjoy this video that will make you hit the little subscribe button somewhere over here and if you are a regular subscriber again gang day one what's good what's up what in future i really hope that you are well and that you are taking care of yourself all right so we are back with a brand new video and of course the video is a story time and this story time is about the time that I dated a straight guy. Like I know him dating me doesn't really support the notion that he's straight but as far as I know there wasn't any other guy after me so I don't know, I don't know he's straight so, if you are interested and excited for this story time, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below, subscribe to my channel, share my video. Super thanks me if you can and if you want. And most importantly, a drink. Cha. It's buzo. And, <laughs> like, because you're definitely gonna need it. So, grab yourself something to drink. Just to lubricate, okay? And without wasting anyone's time, let's get into this video. So the year was 2012. I had just moved to Pretoria. I had just started school at TUT, right? And hey, yes, giving you guys timelines. Nina, you will come at me on some. Can the 2012 went to dating with Mang I was. I was. Mind your business. Mind your business. Okay? <laughs> But, yeah, like I said, the year was 2012, and I just started school at TUT, and I was pretty new in Pretoria, still a baby at the time. So, um, the friends that you guys know, Ukuba, these are my friends from Varsity, my best friends from Varsity, Tino, Zetu, and Zintle. They actually weren't my first group of friends when I got to TUT, okay? Um, I, I think I became friends with them second semester or second term. I'm not sure. But when I got to TUT, I was friends with two guys and two girls, Hai Sang and Tabiso. And then the girls were Boniwe and Humutu, right? Sharp. So all five of us were like spending a lot of time together, even off campus. Because I, I'm guessing we all just started school here and we're like trying to make friends and, and, and we want to get to know each other. Um, so we were spending a lot of time together. You know what? One time, Khai Sang invited us to a braai at his place. He says some of his friends from high school are going to be there and, and, and he would also love for us to come through. Now, I live at the time in Ferry Glen and then Khai Sang lives in Orchards. I've never been to orchards before and I don't even know how to get to orchards at that at that point in time. So I think I was talking to him late at night one time. I'm like, bro, yes, your bra is coming up soon, and I don't know how to get to orchards. And I'm low-key scared to like take taxis to get there because I've never been there. I don't know where that is. So so he's like, it's cool. I'm going to ask a friend of mine who's coming through to like pick you up because he lives in Khasfandeh. So I'll ask him to pick you up and you two can drive together. I'm like, okay, cool, shop. He's like, I'm going to give him your number. He'll text you and then you, um, you guys can like arrange how and where you're going to meet. Yeah, bo? I'm like, cool. A couple of minutes later, a guy texts me. He's like, hey, this is Peter. I got your number from Kai Sang. And he said, I must pick you up. Um, when I am on, when I'm going to his bride. So I'm like, oh, cool, cool, sharp. He did say something like that. Um, so yeah, you can pick me up. Here's my address. You will just communicate when you are on your way. Nyan, 
the boy communicates when he's on his way and 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 i go outside and wait for him so when he gets there he parks in front of me and i hop into the car i look at this guy i'm like oh okay he looks good and i'm like oh i didn't expect a good looking guy but at this point in time no one knows about my sexuality like no one knows except for the people that i've been with and that's sipo and sipo's friend who i kissed like no one else really knows about my sexuality so i'm like who is actually handsome but that's not the type of energy i was presenting i was presenting except hola hola what's up yeah bo kuruzga ah i'm presenting macho <laughs> We drive. On the way there, we like talking about general stuff. We do. We're just talking, 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 talking. And 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 I could hear from the way this guy was speaking that yeah, he really went to school with Khaisan because they speak together, they speak alike. Like, you know these boys that went to like an old boys school, they all have the same twang, they all have the same accent, and then I'm like, I can tell, I can tell. So in my head, so I'm asking, so Who's gonna be there? How many people do? It's like, no, it's the entire squad from high school. And I'm thinking to myself, it's my Fred boy party. Yeah, boy? So we get to Khaisan's place. And when we get there, I think we're like the last people to arrive. And I could see my friends on their corner. And I could see his friends on one side of the, of the yard. So obviously i'm gonna move and go to my friends he goes to his friends and like how things normally work you will start drinking music is playing games are being played and then the two groups will start to yeah more merge then we start drinking we start then moving towards each other and then the two sides eventually join and merge so we're all chilling together, we're drinking, people are talking, and now I'm picking up subtle things about Khaisan's friends, like... Hmm. <laughs> you know when, when you see guys that went to an old boys school, if you played rap, I'm like, okay. If you, if you, if you played cricket, I'm like, okay. You played soccer, I'm like, okay. You didn't play sports and you've got a bit of femininity in you. I'm like, you were there for the boys, wasn't it? So there was like some of them where I was like, Abba, kitty gays. Whatever. Zimo fi. Zimo fi, Abba. So there's some of them where I was like, ha. Even Khai Sam. I was like, Khai Sam gave me gay vibes from day one. But I never said anything because hey i'm not about to drag people out of the closet but i started picking up some vibes from other friends but not peter though like peter was like this guy that played rugby very big very macho very muscular as well so i didn't look at him and think oh he gave it sharp so we had fun with it was an amazing amazing evening um we drank till we dropped we smoked weed till we were out of our minds and eventually we had to go home obviously peter and i are gonna drive back together and he's gonna drop me at home so we drive and we get to where i live we park outside and we like talk for like five minutes and i'm like okay i need to go inside thank you so much he's like no man do you mind if you just chill here there's still some weed we can continue smoking we can like drink there's still some alcohol because he didn't get to drink a lot there because he was gonna drive so now that he's here in ferry Glen, he's like in his hood so he can drink so he's like okay can like can we drink i'm like cool shop we continue drinking we continue smoking smoke we smoke we smoke we smoke we smoke and then this guy is like paying me a lot of compliments which was very weird for me because you are a straight guy and you're complimenting another straight guy like this is like oh you're such, you you are such a beautiful being he's talking about my energy my aura it's like your aura is gorgeous your aura is beautiful for an amazing soul and i'm like 
Okay, the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay. But internally, I'm like, stop it, stop it. But outside, I'm like, oh, okay, cool, thanks, bro, thanks, bro. Yeah, well, <coughs> we drink, we drink, we smoke, we smoke. And then one other thing he did that made me very, yeah, well, was when. So we are baked now where he's laying like he's reclining on his on his seat. I'm also reclining on my seat. He looks over at me and says, You're so good looking. I look over because I'm also high. I look over, I'm like, what? He's like, you're so good looking. I'm like, oh, okay, bro, thanks. So, cause in my head, in my head, I don't know, because I'm I'm starting to feel him flirt with me. But I'm not flirting back because I don't know his true intention. I'm thinking to myself, did they maybe have a conversation with him and his friends and maybe he lost a bet? Why is this guy coming on to me? This is a straight guy. Why is he coming on to me? We've had conversations about him dating this girl. They broke up and then he, he fucked his, he fucked the friend's uh, friend and whatever. Like, so I know from what I have heard about him is that he's a player, he runs through girls and what, 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 so in my head I'm like, why is he then coming on to me? Did they have a conversation with the friends and they're trying to figure out my sexuality because my friends don't even know my sexuality. Was there maybe a conversation that they had with Abu Haisang and them and maybe they were like, since you are going to be with him, try, investigate, yeah, well, see if he's going to take the bait, like, just bait him, so in my head, I'm like, play your cards to your chest, child, like, play them close to your chest, don't reveal shit, don't agree to shit, don't say shit, just keep quiet and just keep saying thanks, bro, which is what I did, pay me compliments, and the last straw is when he then reached over, touched my thigh, and then I sat up. He sat up, he moved in for a kiss, and I backed up. I like I backed, I backed up like, what's up? What's going on? What are you doing? Yeah, boy? And then he's like, nah man, nah man, it's chilled, it's chilled, it's chilled, it's chilled. It's just this liquor. It's not just the liquor. The liquor don't make you gay. The fact. So I'm like, listen, um, it's been great. I need to bounce. I need to go inside. So thanks. Bye. Yeah, well. So I got off the car and I'm so confused. Like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, he's 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 very attractive, but whoa, you were coming on too strong, my nigga. You're not saying anything. You're not telling me that you like me. You're just coming on to me. And that's making me feel very uncomfortable. Yeah, well. Because, like I said, I don't know your true intention. So if maybe you told me, then I would know. And I would have reacted. I'm trying differently. I don't know. Mm. So, in the morning, I get a text from Peter. He's like, hey man, I am so sorry about yesterday. The alcohol got to me. I was too high. I was too drunk. I really apologize for yesterday. Now, you're not apologizing for anything specific. You're just apologizing. So I, so I respond, I'm like, what exactly are you apologizing for? I need us to be on the same wavelength. Yeah, Bob? He's like, no, me coming on to you too strong. And, 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 and I feel like I scared you away. I'm like, so you are only apologizing for coming on too strong, not for coming on to me. You're not apologizing for hitting on me and trying to kiss me, but the fact that it was too strong, it was aggressive, that's what you're apologizing for. He's like, yeah. And then he's like, I don't regret, um, 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 I don't regret showing you how I feel. Explain to me, how do you feel? He's like, I can't explain how I feel because I've never felt the feelings I'm feeling right now. Like, I'm not the men are men. Men are liars. It's like, I've never felt how I felt yesterday when I was with you, with anyone. And I've never felt or, or, or like had any sexual feelings for any guy before. So I don't know how to articulate that. So I'm like, so you have sexual feelings for me? 
you you looked at me and you were sexually aroused and activated it's like yeah i'm like oh so tell me what makes you think that i would be receptive to that what made you look at me and think i can do this with him do you think i'm gay so he's like wait are you not gay i'm like wait what do you mean am i not gay what did you hear about me he's like i didn't hear anything i just saw you and i thought you are gay aren't you gay i'm like so now i'm thinking to myself hey do i say i am do I agree to this? Maybe this is ukuba na ngoma sana as you conversations in ati apa long to full screenshot. In my head, I'm like, do I agree that I am? And then he's gonna screenshot and send to his friends. Like, what do I do? I'm like, listen. Um, I'm also very confused with my sexuality. Don't, 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 don't. The same way that you are saying you're confused, I'm also confused. I don't know. Um, I've never been with a guy like that, like that. And, 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 yeah, um, it's still touch and go when it comes to that. So it's like, listen, um, again, I apologize for yesterday and I would love to move forward. I would love to see where things could go. Kang, did not get cool shop. Ati, can I see you later? I'm like, oh, okay. What do you want to do? He's like, no, can we hang out? I'll come pick you up. We can go back to my place. We'll chill. Because... I had already told him about the situation when I live with my uncle and aunt and my cousin. Um, yeah, so he's like, yeah, I live with, 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 with just my mom. So we can hang out at my place. No, 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 no. I'm like, cool, shut We Nani, he arrives, he picks me up, we go back to his place and we're like chilling in his bedroom. We were playing, I think we were playing Xbox at the time. Playing Xbox, nothing happens. Like, no sex, nothing. Because I think both of us, because he's never been with the guy before. I've never, I've only kissed Usipo and I've only kissed him. So I've only kissed two guys in my life at that, at, at, at that point. And, and, and I'm like, I don't know how to maneuver this because those guys were the guys that made the move on me. So I was expecting him, Upita, to make a move on me and then I respond, yeah, bro? The only thing we did was we I think we watched a movie and we just held hands while watching a movie. That's the only only af public display of, not public display of, of affection. The only physical thing we did together was just hold hands that day. So I go back home and he takes me back home and we continue talking like he's telling me oh my gosh i really like you you're so cool you're so dope you know i'm down and i'm like <laughs> oh i'm so dope i'm so he's down for me <laughs> so we continue seeing each other man. we like we continue seeing each other to a point where Kai sang also knew of the fact that him and I, you, Peter and I, have developed a friendship. That's what you know that we are friends. Yeah, mom? So, there's a girl, like I said, one of my friends that was there that day. Ubonibe. Ubonibe was a beautiful, beautiful girl. Built. She's tall, curvy, and light-skinned, cute. She's like, she spoke soft-spoken like she was very attractive but was a beautiful beautiful girl i don't want to lie tosa from the northern cape so tosa Tswana, that combination deadly deadly combination the tosa Tswana combination deadly so she was gorge now one time it's lunch we are at school bonnie when comes on or comes up with this conversation yokuba Khaisang, tell me about your friend ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, Peter. What's up with Peter? Like, Tindora Peter, is Peter single? Oh, Peter, oh, Peter, oh, Peter is a, is, is, is so single, single like a Pringle. Don, 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 don. He, um, he's, he's been single for a while now. He broke up with his last girlfriend. Don, don, like, as mal is as mal, as mal is mal, as mal is mal. And I'm like, that's, that's the story I know. Then, okay, it's like, hey, I am full of Peter. 
Tayabo, like I want Peter. Um, so make things happen for your girl. I do guys like I got you. I'm gonna hook you up with Peter. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm not sitting there like, oh my gosh, Yemka in the Tayam. There goes my man. Because this girl, gorgeous. This girl is gorgeous, and David Peter will not be able to resist to resist her. If someone says, here's a girl, here's a girl, and it's funny, trust me, you are not going to resist her. So So, Nyani, a couple of weeks later, so I like I did not want to appear jealous to Peter by going to him and tell him that there's a girl that likes you, Kesana, Uboni, no, 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 that girl that was there, she likes you, she fancies you. I just kept quiet as though I don't know anything. I kept my mouth shut. When he comes back weeks later, but oh my gosh, I went on a date with Peter, da, 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 da. and I'm like. You did what? She's like, yeah, I went on a date with him. He came. We chilled and we had sex. Yo. Yo. Like, at that point, when she said that, oh, because it was just, one thing about the girls, the girls always knew. The girls always knew. Boniwe and Humuto always knew I was gay. Because Boniwe and Humuto would never talk anything sexual when Hai Sang and Tabiso were there. But when it's just me and them, they've been telling me about the guys, they were fucking and what, 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 what. And I'm just sitting there like, okay. So we were just chilling. It's me, Humuto, and Boni. And then she's talking about how she went on this date with him. After the date, they went back to her place. And then one thing led to the other. And then they were busy in the Zoom meeting doing the Purnia example. And then I'm like, Oh, like legit, my heart fell into my stomach and fell out of my anus. And I'm like, yo, yo, this is getting deep now. This is getting deep. I went on, I asked him about this. I'm like, yo, I'm hearing this about you. I'm hearing that you slept with Uboni when you went on a date with her. I didn't even know that you two were talking. He's like, yeah, I didn't want to tell you this because I knew it was going to upset you. Ukhai Sang came on to me and like told me that this girl wants me and that and that she was there. She really liked my vibe. Uh, da, 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 da. So I didn't want to like turn him down on the offer of me talking to this girl because he would have been like, why yeah well, and the only reason i would have had was that i'm pursuing things with you so i'm like you know what i hear you talking but i'm not understanding what what you're saying because to me had you come to me and told me wow hi is is trying to hook you up with this girl and you are going to go along with it so that you don't look a certain type of way to your friend so you will just go along with it but it's nothing serious it is serious when you actually took her on a date you could have started to, like you could have talked to her and then let things fizzle out but you talked to her went on a date with her not only that you went home with her and slept with her so it's deep to me so it's like i'm so sorry he apologizes profusely he's like it's because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to relationship with the guy. Um, this is also new to me. And, and, and sometimes I would even like wonder, am I really gay? Am I bisexual? What's going on? Because I, I don't feel this feeling for any other guy but you. So I'm like thinking to myself, Ish, maybe yeah, he's really dealing with a lot. No, 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 no. So I give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, okay, cool, sharp. Let's just try and work things out. Let's let's try and move on from this. Let's let's work on us. Yeah. When I tell you, don't be out here working on shit with a nigga who doesn't want to be with you because clearly this guy didn't want to be with me. What he did was he did not stop talking to Boniwe. He did not stop seeing Boniwe. He didn't stop sleeping with her to a point where Every single day, this girl would get to school, start telling us about her night with the mans and what, 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 what. Oh, he's doing this for me. He's doing that for me. And I'm thinking to myself, 
He ain't doing shit for me. The only thing he does, he comes, he fetches me, we go to his house, we play PlayStation or Xbox, and then he takes me back home. We don't even kiss. Yet he's out here telling me he loves me and what, 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 what. But he's out here sleeping with you. Yeah, boy. So I'm thinking to myself, this nigga. This nigga. Oh, guys, now nah, go on, now nah, go on, nah, go on. Every time, every time we're together with the with the girls, there's always, if it's me, Chai Sang, da, 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 they will always talk about Peter, they will also talk about the relationship he has with Umoni, no, 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 no. And you would, you could just see Umana and participate in the con in, in, in the conversation. My, my face would just, I'd be here. And I'm like, so I think one time Kai Sang saw me rolling my eyes as the girl was like talking about, oh, I'm in love, I'm in love. I rolled my eyes and Kai Sang was like, so he clocks my tea. He then asks me, ma, hey, but what's going on? Because now things between, ooh, remember, Kai Sang knows that Peter and I are friends, right? So Kai Sang is like, what's going on? What's going on? Why do you not participate in this conversation? So, after like he asked me about why I didn't participate in the conversations, I'm like thinking to myself, do I tell him what's going on? Because if I do tell him, that's me dragging Peter out of the closet by his balls. But I'm like, I'm also hurting here. So I might as well talk to someone. Here's someone asking me what's going on. Are you fine? Are you okay? And I'm not a bitch. I'm not. Like, <laughs> guys, I'm a daughter. I'm a daughter. So I tell Kai Sang, I'm like, listen, this is what's going on. Firstly, I'm gay. I <laughs> So after I tell him that I'm gay, his eyes like, were like this. And I'm like, I'm gay. And, and, and your friend and I have been trying to see where things could go between him and I. He's like, who? Peter. I'm like, he's like, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm gagged, bitch. It's like, I'm gagged, bitch. I'm like, Peter and I have been trying to see where things go and, 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 and seeing him pursue another relationship with Especially with Tuboni, with someone that is like friends with me. I know she doesn't know anything. But to see him pursue this relationship with her and I'm also in the picture is just not sitting well with me. And like I'm really hurting. He's like, listen, let me tell you one thing about Peter. Peter is a whore of a man. Peter is a man slut and 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 like I wouldn't even I wouldn't even advise anyone to take him seriously. Um, so apparently, Kai Sang had a conversation with Moniwe before she started hooking up with Upita. She knows the same story that Peter is, 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 a, is a slut. He's a slut of a man. But if Umfuna now, because Ufuni Purnyansa, Ufuni into is serious, you can be with him, yeah, boy? So I'm like, oh. Like yo, famous, 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 Yana. So it, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense that he, because I told him the whole story that we haven't even kissed, we haven't done anything. The only thing we've done was like to hold hands. No, 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 no. So in my head, I'm like, maybe he's he was trying to take things slow with me. He really likes me, but I was like, nah, fam, nah, fam, nah. This guy hasn't even kissed me. Like he hasn't even kissed me. <laughs> But I said to myself, you know what? Man is cool, babe. Good little, good little relationship. Like, I must step out of this relationship. I told him, I was like, listen, I understand you feel all sorts of emotions and feelings regarding our relationship, right? And 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 it's clear to me that you know what you like. And what you like is not me. Yeah, well, so let me make it easy for you. Let me remove myself from the equation. Then you can continue being with whoever you want to be with. So I removed myself from that relationship. And then he continued having a serious relationship with Uboni. And I was hearing about it every day. 
to a point where I started distancing myself from the group um, because I was just like, I can't be hearing about Peter every single day. So I low-key stopped being friends with them <laughs> because this girl was talking about him every day. Also, I didn't want... I was, I was low-key embarrassed about what Hai Sang was thinking because he now knows and I, I became vulnerable with him. I was like, I'm hurting, I'm what, 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 what. And I was like, ah, ah, let me just distance myself and start afresh. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is the story of how it went down when I dated a straight guy. Hey! So, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Guys, do you think I was being delusional? Yeah. Do you think that catch on the Edward? Or do you think he played me? Like, did I do something wrong in this scenario? Or I was just played? So, yeah, let's kick it down below in the comment section. If you have anything to comment, comment it down in the comment section. Give my video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below, like I said. Super thanks, me. share the video. And yeah, let's kiki. Let's kiki. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.